there who spoke in our neighborhood. It was a spray, but it was adorable. My friends and I loved it. We fed it every morning and every night. But unfortunately, our neighbors weren't as happy with the spray. They thought it was dangerous in some ways, and they decided that the dog had to go. So this was what they did. They put the dog in the box, and put the box in the back of the pickup, and they drove the dog 50 kilometers away, making sure it didn't follow them. I was heartbroken. I was so sad that the dog was gone. Imagine my surprise when the next morning I saw the dog standing right in the middle of the main garden. And that made me think about animal senses and what they were capable of. I did some research and I found out that bats were almost blind and they found their way with eco. Not only finding their way, they communicated with each other using eco. Birds make a nest on a tree in summer, but when it's winter, they move to another place. The following summer, they go back to the exact same trees and remake the mess, mess they made last year. Caretta Caretta Turtles, their mother lays them on a beach as eggs and leaves them. When they come out of the eggs, they go to the sea, survive there, and when it's their time to lay eggs, they go back to the exact same beach where their mother lays them as eggs. And many more animals use their senses every day to survive. These senses are capable of even more amazing things in times of crisis for animals such as bigger animal attacks and us. Yes, we are a threat for them, and that's because of this. Think of a creature which can find its way after being taken 50 kilometers away. Wouldn't it be aware of everything going around? Wouldn't it know when we try to hurt it on purpose? Of course it would. All the animals in the world are aware of what we're doing. That's why the next time you're communicating with animals, keep in mind that they have a brain, and most importantly, a heart. Thank you.